percent of the fractures were linked to eating animal protein. What, is, what, do we, what does that tell us? To do? <laughs> is that believable? Mm -hmm. That's going against the grain. You know that? That's against the grain. Got milk? Drink milk for strong bones. Eat lots of protein. Marrow? It's, it's, here's the, the, the world, the source of the studies, the Journal of Gerontology, Worldwide Incidence of Hip Fracture in Elderly Women Related to Consumption of Animal Protein Vegetables, the Journal of Gerontology, uh, number 55, 2000, pages, or five pages, year 2000. And another cross-cultural association between dietary animal protein and hip fracture, a hypothesis in calcification tissue. It's another publication, 1992. But those are the sources for that. It's not my opinion. Okay, now let's get into the good stuff. Recipes. Apple, cinnamon, walnut fruits. Uh, this is a variation. Uh, there are many variations. <coughs> Apples are very common in the states at this time of year. Apples, cinnamon, walnuts. Add a little flax seed to it. Blend it or in a food processor and you can make a dessert. Apple, cinnamon, treats. Uh, you can make that easy at home. Another recipe for green smoothies. Uh, apples, pears, or mangoes or other fruit. Spanish kale, lettuce. You know, ripe organic bananas. You can add gulfs for the minerals. Sunflower spouts if you like. That's a good source of protein. For oil, avocados. Maybe half of an avocado. Uh, wash the fruit, chop it, uh, add it to your blender or food processor. This is from Green for Life by Victoria Pachinko. And uh, energy soup. This is Ann Wigmore's recipe modified. Um, the top of the page is energy soup. She did this demonstration at the Friends Meeting House in Ann Arbor in the basement, which about 20, 20, 25 years ago. Uh, starting with apples or local, uh, sunflower greens, uh, avocado and dulse flakes, with or without the sunflower seeds, but the sunflower sprouts are the, are the green ingredient. And very simple to make, very easy, very nutritious and it's a complete protein meal. You could use, she used Rejubilac, and in Arbor she did not have Rejubilac. That's uh, fermented wheat berries. Um, you can use buckwheat. Uh, can you eat wheat berries? You can eat wheat, well, if you, wheat, you can soak them. If you have gluten problems? I don't think I would eat the wheat berries, but you can make the Rejubilac from the wheat berries. But I don't think we eat the meat berries. Uh, well, here's a recipe for creamy soup. And to make it creamy, you use cashews and you blend them. A half a cup of cashews blended will make it very creamy. If you want a tomato soup that's creamy, like creamy tomato soup, you use cashews instead of dairy. So you just substitute cashews for the milk. And a little pinch of sea salt. Uh, Sea salt has many minerals. I mentioned that the pink Himalayan sea salt has 84 minerals in it. Instead of taking a mineral pill, a vitamin pill, or an older vitamin, a little bit of, of sea salt, Celtic salt, or Himalayan salt. Sprinkle a little bit of dill on it, and uh, you can blend it and make it in a blender. And if you want it warm, add a little cayenne to it. Right down the road, across from O.M. Uh, J. Powell's studio, the sign cayenne, K-A-Y-M, it's spelled a little bit different. Fresh organic cayenne pepper. All you need to do is add a little bit of to our cashews and our tomatoes, and we'll have warm cashew soup. <laughs> and if you blend it long enough, if you blend it long enough, it actually will get warm. Because what we do is we just have a little bit of sometimes we want it warm, we spread for like three or four minutes, and it becomes warm. hot. It really is. <laughs> it really is. Steam would come out. Oh, that's <laughs> amazing. Yeah, kind of blend. Red pepper corn salad. Uh, when you have a red pepper, you can skip the cucumber, Judy. Uh, a green onion and corn in the cob. Just uh, cut the, the kernels off the cob. Put it in your blender. 
and chop up zucchini, uh, chop up red pepper. And you can chop, chop, chop and dice it all, or you can put it in a blender, in a Vitamix, and use just the low side. And it will not go so fast that it will purify it. And you can experiment with it so you can make a, a salad with it. Now we're down to the recipe for the brownies. Let's go to the recipe and then let's go up and make it. Uh, we're going to use a food processor, and I have a mini processor. Um, it's a Cousinart. I bought another one like this.